since you mentioned CPEC, uh, what's your evaluation of the first phase? It's gone satisfactorily well. We've done um, uh, some important uh, energy projects. Uh, we were energy deficient and today we are not. Uh, today we have uh, more generation than our requirement. Now we need to improve our transmission system so that um, we can cut down on um, outages. The infrastructure projects like um, motorways, uh, they have, they've done well. So we are satisfied with the phase one. And now we're moving, moving into phase two, which is going to be industrialization, modernization of our agriculture, livelihoods, uh, concentration on um, special economic zones, relocation of industry, especially labor intensive costs are going up. You know, um, labor costs compared to China are far, far uh, below uh, the Chinese cost. So uh, an important hub, uh, Pakistan can be an important hub for re-exports for Chinese goods. Mm -hmm. Since you mentioned there is a shift of focus between phase one and phase two of the China-Pakistan economic corridor, why is the change? How do you come to that change? The focus was to alleviate poverty. The focus was to uh, create jobs uh, for economic growth. And these projects, we feel, will generate growth. The project itself has received quite mixed reactions from around the world. Some people are able to see how it's benefiting Pakistan and the Pakistani people in the long-term interests, while some people have called it a debt trap for Pakistan. Is it a debt trap? No, it isn't. Uh, we've we've uh, heard about it, uh, people have written about it, but we know the total volume of our debt and the Chinese uh, loan and the total debt that Pakistan has is minimal. Mm -hmm. So it's really no debt trap.